Hey guys, welcome to the channel. As some of you know, I run a website called totallyfilms.club. If you're struggling to watch films that you think you can't find anything to watch, if you jump onto my uh, website, uh, I've got my top uh, movies to watch on Netflix, uh, which I'm going to update on a regular basis. Let's go through my, my Netflix. So, 47 meters down, uncaged, uh, we watched the other day as well, that's where it's been recently added to Netflix. Uh, I was, don't get me wrong, I was never a massive fan of Jaws. I knew what it, it set a benchmark back in the day, um, but I do believe there's been better films about sharks, so I can't watch that sort of shit anymore. Um, it was great in the day. Uh, watch it now, they just become almost like B movies. Most people will be like, oh, the original was the best one, mm -hmm. but it isn't. If you can see a mechanical arm holding up a rubber shark, it just takes you out of the, the movie experience and that's what movies are for. They're supposed to put you in this little zone. Obviously going back to 47 meters down, uncaged, it's a weird title if you ask me. Uh, I was quite impressed with it to be honest with you. If you like uh, sexy ladies swimming around in bikinis, this is, you know, Definitely one for you to watch. Someone to look out for, uh, Sylvester Stallone's daughter um, plays one of the characters. I think she's quite, quite hot to be honest with you. But um, you'll definitely work out which, which one of the four um, she actually is once you start watching it. So the story is nothing we haven't seen before. The girls go on a little bit of a, a road trip, find a little lake, go exploring, something happens and they have to fight their way out. It's pretty much that in a nutshell. Um, it's got some a couple of jumpy bits in it. Uh, it's not, don't get me wrong, no one's going to win an Oscar for the for the acting. They did alright. Um, it's believable in places. So definitely worth a watch. I'd give it out of 5. I'll give it a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, what else have we watched? Cock Blockers. I went to the pictures to watch um, last year, I think. Uh, it's quite funny. You, as a parent, you can kind of relate to something they're going on about find some of the bits funny because we were there as kids as well so you can see it from both points of view um, but like again if you want to kill a couple of hours just probably worth a watch uh, out of five I'll give it three out of five now <laughs> Dumb and Dumber has been added gotta give that a watch I haven't watched that for a year uh, Ocean's 11 12 and 13 have been added classic movies gotta get on them as well if you want to binge on something salt so it's excellent. Um, I went to the pictures, watched that, and haven't watched it since. So I'll probably be watching that at some point as well. Uh, Tintin, that was a good film. If you want to watch a funny film, that's my boy, uh, starring Adam Sandler. He's on Net Netflix at the moment. It is one of the funniest films I've seen for a long, long time. I've seen it three times now. Look at him, I'm bloody counting. Three times. Um, each time I watch it, I just barely laugh. Uh, I get hot and sweaty and it just, it's just a funny, cool film. If you can get over Adam Sandler's annoying voice that he does in it, it's, well, talking about not annoying voices, but if you can get over that, it is so funny. Uh, the, the backstory and the whole concept of what's going on, um, it's, it's, it just cracks me up. It's, it's one of those films I think I could watch again and again and again and, and laugh just as much every time. So a film I watched the other day, which is um, just sort of come across it on Netflix, uh, was She's Out of My League. Uh, didn't watch it when it was out originally, back in 2010. Uh, but if you like your American Pie style of movies, I'd say this is uh, definitely worth a watch. Don't get me wrong, it's not as funny as American Pie. It has its moments, it is funny. Um, it's a, a comedy romance, but more of a comedy than a, than a romance. So it's not a chick flick, so don't, don't worry. You can uh, still be quite manly and watch it. Yeah, it's just an all-round cool movie. If I was to rate it, I'd say it's a 4 out of 5. Uh, definitely worth a watch. And again, we'll kill a couple of hours in this apocalypse isolation that we're finding ourselves in. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere down the bottom. And I will catch you guys in the next one.